the stove and then put it in the pressure cooker. Not, not with this item from Ninja. You can sear in it and then pressure cook mm -hmm. and then take the insert out and put it in the oven up to 500 degrees if you want to melt some cheese on top or put breadcrumbs and make it cr you know crunchy and crispy. This is an amazing item that does so many things, replaces the need for a slow cooker, a steam oven, a food warmer, a nonstick pot, a saute pan, a cast iron skillet, a steamer, a stock pot, a Dutch oven, a roasting pan, a bread maker. Uh, it, it's really pretty amazing what this will do. So Rochelle Lucas is continuing on with us and she's going to give us all the details. And does this, this comes in black and sea salt gray. It does. Black it does. and sea it does salt so gray. so many different things. Uh, you know, it truly does kind of take over your kitchen and I love it because it makes cooking so easy. That's why we call it the possible cooker. I love that they even thought to include the spoon that rests right on the handle on top. So, you know, if you're entertaining, how many of you would have loved to have this, this weekend for your big game parties, you know, you can pre-cook everything and have the spoon there so everybody can kind of serve themselves uh, as they're ready. So it yeah. keeps things hot, it keeps things cooked. But I love that you can sear and saute in here as you're building up your sauces. So we just did a chili here. So you can sear and saute, you know, your onions, your brown, uh, you know, brown your meats and then build it up so you have that much more flavor. And let me show you how that works. So we did a beef stew, but I'm actually gonna put this whole thing, let me see if All I right. can, I don't even see, here, here's the tongs. I was looking for tongs, but look at how big <laughs> this meat is. I'll be your assistant is. if you need anything oh, to ask. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So we're gonna I'm, sear I'm this I'm waiting to see this, I Do hear you it. hear it? You hear that sizzle? That is the sound of flavor. So most um, slow cookers, they don't have the capacity to sear. You know, they, they slow cook. This is a slow cooker that will sear. And look at how non-stick it is, too, in the bottom. So it's getting that nice caramelization on the bottom, but it's not sticking. The pot itself is actually removable, so you can remove the pot to put it in your dishwasher, uh, but it is also oven safe up to 500 degrees. So let's say you want to put some toppings and stuff on here, you know, and crisp it up with a broiler, you could do that, too. Um, this is such a giant piece of... Oh, uh, my God beef here. <laughs> I'm going to see I if I can flip say. it. I want to show you. Uh, there we go. It's prehistoric. There we go. That is huge. So imagine having this for your big game party this past weekend. You don't want to miss out on this for your future parties uh, throughout the year. But it does so many different things. So I'm going to build this up. We're going to also add all of our vegetables and our potatoes and our carrots. So, you know, I think people love slow, slow cooking because it makes the whole house smell wonderful. You know, you can set also, something up. Also, you can up. get a lesser priced cut of meat Absolutely. and make it taste delicious. That's why I like like the slow Absolutely, because meat is so expensive right now, right? And so you can take those more inexpensive cuts of meat, make them more delicious, make them more tender. I'm gonna add a little bit of broth here and I'll just uh, move the lid over and kind of show you what we've been cooking on the other side here. So this is the lid. I'm just gonna switch with this one over on top of this one. So can you change it to slow cook or pressure? Yes, it doesn't pressure yes, cook. It's slow yes. cooker. It's a slow cooker, pressure cooker. I'm it gonna... is a pressure cooker. No, no, not pressure not cooker. A pressure slow cooker, sear, saute, all of those things and um, I'll actually go around the front I can't see the front panel from this side but I'll actually walk you through it when we pull out the mac and cheese yeah but look at this meat look at how it seared it that all that nice brown golden brown and delicious that is what you get when you're able to sear things before you um, you know before you slow cook it and so you're able to get all of that nice flavor look at how wonderful that looks with all of that and the whole the house smells good when you've got this cooking all day long but this the, just let me just tell you something the fact that you can sear the meat in yes. there and then also slow cook it right there. I've never seen, a, and I've been here 15 years and we've presented a lot of stuff. I've never seen another appliance do that. Yeah, yeah. And I took one of uh, Julia Child's recipes for her for her beef stew and it, and it had all these multiple steps. You know, you gotta sear it and then you've gotta bring out extra pots and pans and then you have to slow cook it. Now you can do it all in one pot. And so let me walk over to this one so I can uh, scoot around to the side here and I'll walk you through the front panel Ooh, that and smells show so you good. all, doesn't it smell amazing? Mm, yes, it does. <laughs> so here are all the different things it can do. Um, um, of course, it's telling me add pot because I've got the pot in the oven there. I'm going to pull out to show you in a minute. But here are all your different functions. You have slow cook, sear, and saute. It will also steam if you want to steam your vegetables. And you are you are getting the um, roasting rack as well. So it's perfect for when you want to steam your vegetables. And then you also have, uh, you know, sous vide. Sous vide machines alone are really expensive. That's a great way to tenderize your meats. Braise, bake, and proof. So bake and proof if you're going to do your breads. I've got a focaccia I'm going to show you in a minute. That's amazing. So all of these different things plus the keep more function for when you're you know you're making a big pot of soup or stew and you're having uh, family over you can just put it on keep warm and everybody can kind of serve themselves as they're coming in you know 
with different dinner times, different schedules and that sort of thing. So really it does so many different things and the pot comes out. So I'm going to go grab the pot. We actually have it in the oven. We did a beautiful mac and cheese. So we did the mac and cheese in the possible cooker. And I got to tell you, it has that triple fusion heat. So you're getting heat from the sides and you're getting heat from the bottom. So it cooks 30% faster than your oven, but you have the option to bring it to your oven. If you want to just broil some cheese on the top, you know, in three minutes <laughs> to get right, that nice right, right. crispiness on the top. Or put breadcrumbs or and put have bread crispy. Crumbs, yeah. All of those things. So yeah. I'm going to go get that mac and cheese okay. and we'll, we'll dig right into it because it's delicious. <laughs> all right. Now five flex pay on everything, free shipping and handling on this. If you want the sea salt gray, this color, um, I only have 380 orders left. This is going very quickly. So this is going to sell up first, the sea salt gray. The other choice is the black, but 380 orders left. Look, look at that. Look at right this. from the oven. And that's right non-stick from the oven. too. It's so easy cleanup. Absolutely. So I want to show you how the pot does lift up. It is very easy to clean up, look at that. but look at how we were able to crisp up some of the uh, breadcrumbs on top of the mac and cheese. Um, so imagine doing this for your next get together, any parties that you're having this year, any holiday. Do you hear that crisp, that crunch? Yeah, and also, I love it. <laughs> this, is, this is big, too. It is eight and a half quarts capacity. So, you know, whether you're doing a church function on Sundays or, you know, a, a, a Mother's Day party or a Sunday roast or just having your friends over for a barbecue. You can, you can just hand me that. You don't oh, have here to. you go. <laughs> I don't know why she's, I don't, know, I don't understand why she's putting it over there because uh, I'm standing right here. Yeah, so I love <laughs> that you have that capacity. But again, you know, it's a slow oh, it's cooker nice warm too. that will sear and crisp as well. And mm. so it's the possible oh, cooker. Oh, so good. It makes so many different things possible. It does come with a spoon, so you're seeing me use the spoon and ladle. Um, this one's full of mac and cheese, but I'll show you on one of the ones I haven't used yet. Here we go. It actually has like a little pour spout on one side and then also a little tooth on the other. So for when you're doing your pastas and stuff, so it does have those different functions as well on the spoon. Mm. Plus there's like a little notch on the bottom there, so it, it sits right into the handle and it won't fall off. It will kind of just stay there. So it, All right. You're just in heaven with that I'm mac sorry. and cheese. Shout out to Amanda from Culinary <laughs> who put together like... 20 meals like just today and then the macaroni and cheese I'm telling you it tastes delicious and not just looks delicious for television she's amazing I'm she's gonna amazing. be <laughs> kind of eating this with the entire show now I know um, uh, this is that's pretty amazing and you know I personally like to make a big amount and then have leftovers that I portion absolutely. out for lunch because I take my lunch to work every day so I love that it's eight quarts absolutely so that eight and a half quart mm. capacity is perfect when you're mm. just cooking for oh, you so and good. your husband and your and your batch cooking for the weekend or when you're entertaining you know you can bring this with you too if you were if you're going to you know a function at someone's house and, and everybody was bringing a dish imagine bringing this everybody's gonna be like how did where did you buy that I want it I need one you know? <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, I love the I, I wish I could dig into the mac and cheese but I'm gonna go over to the pulled pork I'm over sorry here. I feel like I'm leaving you. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna set this down she's, and talk she's mm. gonna eat for the rest of the time mm. and I'm just gonna keep serving no, you food no, so, good. Uh, so again it's perfect for seared meat so you want to have that sear to get that flavor and so what we started here was with a big pork shoulder we seared it uh, to get that nice, wonderful flavor. And then we slow cooked it to have pulled pork for so we could do some pulled pork sandwiches. But look at how this smells so good. I, oh, I don't know. So like, good. I'm even being distracted from talking because I'm like, oh so my good. gosh, it smells so good. Do you want me to so talk and you have good. a big bite of that? I might, I might. I, might need I, a, told, I got you, girl. I need I told a bib for this one, though, because it's so delicious and so juicy. But again, it is eight and a half quarts capacity. It is at triple fusion heat. So this is faster. It's 30% faster than your, uh, than your traditional oven. Do you know, so my mom, uh, working mom her whole career, like my mom is a college professor. My dad and mom are both college professors, mm -hmm. three kids. And my mom did all the cooking. She would cook on Sundays a lot. And then we would have a lot of leftovers during the week. So if you're somebody that is like busy or even if it's just, you know, we're empty nesters, my husband and I, but we still like when we cook, we do like a, a big thing and then we portion it out and then put it in the fridge. So lunch, we just take out each of the container, our anchor hawking. And then I, that's what I bring to work every day and then you know maybe I'll microwave it and warm it up so I love that you're able to do like a stew for the week or uh, you know what would be great in this is soup like oh, a big yeah. like a uh, pea split pea soup with like a ham in it like we would do I mean you could because you could slow cook it all day absolutely because those kind of hearty soups are amazing this time of year Absolutely. So now I'm going to just do some carrots and onions. You hear that sizzle in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, We've my got gosh. it on the sear and saute function, and I'm going to make a little pasta bolognese. So we're able to get those wonderful flavors that you get from searing and sauteing, but all in one pot. So See, I think of pasta bolognese as a very mm -hmm. complicated, difficult dish. Yeah, yeah. Because norm it's not. It's not. It's really just a little wine and some carrots and onions, and that's all the flavor, really. <laughs> and, and, and it would be lots of po different pots if you it didn't have this. It would be. It would be. Yeah. Especially if you wanted to slow 
slow cook it if you wanted to serve it to your family later, if you wanted to mm -hmm. keep it warm for dinner, if everybody's got different schedules. Um, now you're able to do it all in one pot. I love that you're, the mac and cheese is I'm, making its way across I, everybody. I'm, I can't. <laughs> I, I missed it. It was like calling to me. It is so good. It is so good. So, you know, I love that I can cook all in one pot. I can get that sear and saute in there. I don't have to get multiple, you know, pots out. I mean, that's the whole point of slow cooking is you want to get your slow cooker out and, and make a big meal for everybody, but you don't want mm -hmm. a big, you know, sink of dishes at the end of the night. Uh, so I'm just building up the sauce here with the meat, with the uh, uh, carrots and onions. And once this browns up, I'll add the wine and I'll add the sauce and we'll have a perfect pasta sauce. I think you said marinara earlier. So like, <laughs> I said about three different, I said Mariana. Mariana. I said my, my brain wasn't, but you know, working for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, we've got to, you know, I, I love that it makes cooking easy. So it really. Yeah. And you know, when you say, okay, this is going to take up a little bit of counter space, but listen, there's about 10 things that you no longer need. Maybe you never have a slow cooker. You don't need that. Maybe you don't have a steam oven. You don't need that. Maybe you don't have a food warmer or nonstick pot or a Dutch oven or a roasting pan or a, I mean, it will replace so many different mm -hmm. things that you, this will be like central. And by the way, I have a friend who's like redoing their kitchen and then they're kind of living out of like a different, you could live out of this. They need this. They, they totally need this. Oh like my you goodness. could absolutely <laughs> just live out of this. Absolutely. So I'm going to let that, uh, you know, cook down a little bit. Of course, we're going to use that slow cook function. I'm going to add some more ingredients as we go, but I want to show you that it's a bread maker too. So you talked about the 14 different functions. Mm -hmm. You know, of course it's got the functions on the, uh, you know, that you can do with a sear, saute, slow cook, uh, sous vide, make bread and proof. Uh, but you know, it really replaces so many different things because of how convenient Wait, wait, you can proof in this? You can proof in this, which is important when you want, you know, you're looking for a hot spot in your kitchen a little bit of humidity. Sometimes we don't have that in the wintertime yeah. if you're up north. Um, sometimes it's too humid in Florida. Right, right. But look at how this focaccia came out. Look at how beautiful this bread came out. So I'm just going to try and lift it here from the side. Is it cool? It is cool to the touch. So I'm just going to uh, lift it out with my hands here so you can see. Look at that golden brown and deliciousness. Look at how perfectly that is crisp. Look at how non-stick it is. So fresh homemade bread in your possible cooker. I mean, can can your slow cooker at home do that? No. <laughs> so I love that you can also bake breads in here. It makes the house smell wonderful. Of course, nothing tastes as good as fresh baked bread, um, but you can proof it and bake it all in one pot. What about some of these recipes? Are these online or? They on are, they are. So you can go to ninjakitchen.com. There's tons of recipes uh, for, for all of the Ninja appliances, of course. And then you also have a recipe book. Uh, we've got one around here, I know. Um, I see that's it. has got tons of recipes in it. I'm gonna go grab it. it. So, um, most of the things we're making today are included in the recipe book. We like to show you uh, when we're on air all the oh, things that I you see. can do. And, the, and what you just made is in there. Uh, what we just made in there. The focaccia is in yeah. there. Ooh, uh, minestrone soup. Mm, so good. I, that's why I, I said this would be great for soups where you have like some, because I like heartier. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you some of these pictures. Butternut squash and risotto and... Look at that. I like the photos. Making everybody hungry. <laughs> it makes everybody hungry. I know, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to find like more of these really pretty pictures of there's the simple focaccia that we just made right right here. Upside down backwards, right there. Focaccia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And usually in the front, there's two Kickstarter recipes, and those are when you first get it at home and you take it out of the box and you're thinking, what do I want to make first? Right. You can always go uh, use the recipe book to kind of get started and, and to give you, give you some inspiration. Egg frittata and mm. hash browns with bacon. So good, so there good. There you go. And also it says, like right at the front, it says slow cooker, sear saute, steam, keep warm, sous vide. Sous vide. What, mm -hmm. we didn't even mention that one. I know, Braise, I know. bake, and proof. A All sous vide, so how you could put it in a temperature, water, yeah. and then put something in a bag and drop it in? Yeah, oh. yeah, so basically you'd, you'd get the bags, what? and you, and a, a lot of people like to do their meats that way because mm -hmm. it really tenderizes them and makes them oh, juicy and delicious. Oh, my husband does that, and yeah. then he finishes it off on the grill. Yeah, 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 so usually it's a, it's a way of slow cooking, but you yeah, boil no. the water and you'd put the bag in there. So these are all the different functions. I just want to show you again, this is actually counting down for the uh, pasta sauce that we're making. But look, it also, it slow cooks, of course, but sears and sautés, not a lot of slow cookers can do that where you want to build up your flavor by, you know, searing and sauteing your meats before you start slow cooking it. We also have steam. So if you want to do your steamed vegetables, we'll have to show you, you're getting the roasting rack with it as well. And the roasting rack is perfect for steaming vegetables or doing your meats. It also has keep warm, um, sous vide, braise, bake, and proof. Uh, so all of these different functions really help you um, make it possible to cook, you know, a great meal for your family. That's why we call it the possible cooker is it, it makes anything possible that you want to cook. My, and my producer wants to know if people know what proofing 
is. Proofing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I watch a lot dough. of British baking shows, so I know. Uh, go <laughs> I ahead, know. And, tell us about the British baking uh, shows. Well, before you bake bread, you yeah. proof it. It's basically rising and letting yes. the yeast work, right? Yes. That, so you, it, it's not like putting the oven. It's just kind of getting it warm, like you cover it. You want and it, it kind of, you want it to get big, higher, and then you can, you can like ro roll it out, and yeah. but it, it, it's a step in bre bread baking that you know that you need to do for certain kinds of breads. Yes, yes. So, and, and you'll see a fancy, super high-end kitchen will have something called a proofing drawer where you put in the dough and you close the drawer. And put that, so that's something in a very high-end, expensive, like Michelin star restaurant, you're getting a proofer in there. Yes. So, I mean, that is and something. And you can proof yeah. and bake all in one pot. And so right. it's really oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can proof it and then go right to baking in this. So this is amazing. Yeah. By the way, the sea salt gray is the most limited. This is very, very popular. Um, uh, there's 321 left, and then the rest of the quantity is in the black. So this is sea salt gray. It's almost like a blue gray, I it think. It is. It is. It's a beautiful, yeah, a blue gray is a great way to describe it. So I'm just going to stir the meats around in here. Again, we have that sear saute function, so we're building up those flavors before we do our pasta sauce. So, you know, I love that I can do that. I can love that I have that sear saute function. So even if you've got a camper, or even like you said, your friends that are renovating their kitchen and they don't have a cooktop, this, right. can, this can be your cooktop. This can be your oven. It does uh, cook 30% faster than a traditional oven because of that triple fusion heat. So it's heating it from not just the bottom, from, but also from the sides. And then when you put the uh, lid on the top, it's also steaming it as well. So that triple fusion heat really helps things cook faster, uh, really seals in those flavors. And of course, that sear saute function uh, essentially turns it into a cooktop right on your countertop. And do, you, so, do you happen to know what the wattage is on this? I think it's about 1,700 watts. 17, 1,760, 1,750, something like that. That. Yeah, that's um, a lot of power. It's a lot of power. Of course, you can just plug it into your regular outlet in your yes. kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, we should mention that. <laughs> regular appliance and plug it right in. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, because I'm noticing, by, by the way, the other thing I'm noticing is when I'm cooking like this, usually in a saute pan on the stove, mm -hmm. uh, about 20% of it flies out that's and true. gets my stove all dirty. <laughs> but I'm watching her and I'm like, this, because this is deep in there and she's stirring it, there's no mess. Splatter. Like you're not making any splatter or mess. And then when you add all those ingredients, yeah. It's not like things are like, uh oh, I got to stir it and have it keep in there. It's so deep in the well. There. Especially when you're making this kind of volume of food, right? So if you're meal prepping for the week, if it's just the two of you, or if you're cooking for your family or friends for an event or for a get together, we know when you're cooking this volume of food, you don't want it to splatter. And you also want to be able to do it all in one pot so you don't have a lot of dishes in the sink. But also, it's really lightweight. This is pretty warm, I think, from uh, since we're cooking in there. But I just want to show you, too, how lightweight it is, you know, because this reminds me of like a Dutch oven. Yes. But Dutch ovens can be so heavy you know you don't want to ding your countertops you don't want to you know this is super lightweight I mean this is full of is food is it aluminum or stainless it's stainless or steel it's stainless okay. steel and then of course it's a painted and it's also has the uh, non-stick coating on the inside that uh, ninja is famous for so it is non-stick but I just love how lightweight it is as well it's, it's yelling at me it's saying add pot <laughs> <laughs> but don't you know you have removed me that uh, is yeah, not yeah, how you make it, a bolognese it's so smart it's <laughs> like add pot so it's really doing a lot of the cooking uh -huh. and the thinking for you but I love that I can uh, I really do need that, Rochelle. <laughs> I need somebody to, I can do all the eating, but I need somebody to do the cooking and thinking for sure. Here are the 14 tools that replaces Rochelle. This okay. is impressive. And is slow cooker, your steam oven, uh, food warmer, your uh, nonstick pot, your uh, pans, your cast iron skillet, because you can use it to, remember that huge piece of steak that I added? So you can use it to sear, um, even your saucier, your steamer, a saucepan, a stock pot, Dutch oven, roasting pan, your bread maker, and your integrated spoon, uh, of course has two different functions as well, because it has the little teeth on the one side, like your pasta spoon, but it also has like a little porcelain spout on one side for when you're doing your sauces. So it really does so many things. I love that they even thought to include, you know, a little, uh, not, like, little notch here so it sits right on the lid and it doesn't fall off. Like, normally, if you were to try to do this, you know, uh, on a normal pan, it would kind of fall off and, and you know, or it'd be on the countertop. It's right where you need it. And so... Has this been on air before? Just once. Just, just once. I was going to say, because I've never presented this before yes. and I haven't even heard of this product. So it's only been on air one other time. Was it with Shannon? Oh, I, I I think it was with Shannon. Yeah, yes, because I saw, yeah. Was, ooh, is that like dumpling this soup? This is ooh. chicken dumpling soup. This smells, oh, again, everything smells so, so good. good. I, I need to eat before coming on here <laughs> next time because I, I really am like, I'm drooling here. Um, but yeah, so for soups, for stews, for, you know, cooking for a party or even just doing meal prep for one, this is perfect because it's going to make cooking fun. It's going to make it easy. Uh, you're going to be able to do it all in one pot. 
The cleanup is easy. Of course, it goes in the, the pot goes into the dishwasher as well as the lid and the spoon. And then like, let's say you all have different schedules in your family. Everybody comes and serves themselves. So then you can put the keep warm function on yeah. and then put the lid on, put the spoon right on top and then everybody can serve themselves. And the spoon matches the color, by the way. So if you're doing a-, a But also, you know, if you think about it, if you're invited to a dinner party and like, yes. oh, I'm gonna bring the side, you make like a risotto. It's, you can just like lift this up and then it looks so pretty to bring over to somebody's house and serve. But you certainly couldn't do that with any other kind of pressure cooker or something like that. The insert isn't pretty at all. It's not really. But this exactly. is something that is, you know, like right from the, here to the table. Exactly. Which obviously, if it's warm, you'd put something down on the table to make sure you don't <laughs> burn your table. But yeah. But you're right. You know, you it's could always, if you're bringing this to a party, you could always pre-make that mac and cheese that you love mm -hmm. so much. And then, um, <laughs> you know, crisp it up at the top. But then when you get to the party, you need to reheat it, right? And yeah. then if everybody's bringing their dish, you know, there's not enough room in the oven. Everybody always thinks, oh, I need an extra stove top. I need an extra oven, then you can bring your possible cooker and then you can do, you know, you can put the keep warm function on and warm it up for everybody to, you know, have their own. So here we've done a uh, broccoli cheddar soup. It is still soup season. I know it even cooled off here in Florida for a bit. Yeah, um, well, I was going to say, this to me seems like genius for soup. Oh, absolutely. I absolutely. love that because, you know, a lot of soup you start with like maybe even, a, you know, like a stock where you're sauteing the onions and the carrots before mm -hmm. you do like the, you know, potatoes or like whatever kind of soup you're doing, some hearty soup that yeah. I love that. And you can just let it sit. And at eight quarts, this is a this is eight, big. Eight and a half eight, quart capacity. Yeah. And what I love about making homemade soups, Helen, too, is you can get to control the ingredients. And so I don't know if you've ever looked at the sodium in some canned soups. You know, we're starting to watch that. My husband and I are starting to watch that a little bit yeah. because the sodium is so high. Like it's your whole day's worth of sodium in one little canned soup. You can control your salt. You can control your sugar. When you're making homemade soups at home, uh, there's nothing in here that you can't pronounce because there's no extra, you know, like preservatives mm -hmm. or, or odd ingredients and so you really get to control uh, what you're eating and what you're feeding your family and that's what I really love about being able to do my homemade soups uh, and stews at home is that I can control the salt and the sugar in them and plus they taste better you know when you're building up that flavor with that sear saute function and you're you know you're uh, sauteing the onions it tastes so good by the way we're shipping this free I just want to mention that it's free shipping and handling no matter you know from you know, Cleveland, Ohio, to New York City, to Texas, to California, wherever you live, we will ship this to you for free. When you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping and handling on all your orders. This is over $75, so not only is it free to ship this, when you buy the Ninja Foodie um, cooker, multi-purpose cooker, you get free shipping and handling on your all your orders. So even if you ordered something five hours ago today, and then it, it said, it, it, you know, you're like, okay, I have that flat rate shipping of $5.95 for all my orders, $75 or under, it would go to, would go back and take that shipping off of it and make it zero retroactively earlier in the day because it's free to ship. We'd actually launch this at midnight, so I'm explaining about the shipping a lot. So if you spend $75 or more, free shipping handling on everything, but if you spent less than $75, we're doing flat rate shipping, $5.95 on everything. So I wanted to mention that, but free shipping and handling on an item like this, let's be honest, if you order it and bring it to your house and then want to ship it to your mom, don't do that. Let us ship it to your mom. Because it's probably exactly. going to cost you $40, $50 to ship it if you go down to like UPS or something. Exactly. So we will ship it anywhere in the country for free. And it's $26 on FlexPay. So get it home for $26. By the way, if you don't love it, you can return it. You have 30 days. But I think this is really, I mean, I love that insert. Even yeah. if you're like, okay, you know what? I need a big pot because I'm going to do a giant lasagna or something. You could do a whole you, chicken. You could do a roasted chicken in this. Mm -hmm. This is, you will use this over and over and over again just for using it as your roasting pot but then you know you use it to sear and then you also have a slow cooker and then a steamer how does the steamer function work the steamer function works uh of course you just turn it to the steam function but let me show you the roasting pan oh, yeah. we've got, i, I want to do dessert but i'm going to lose you when we have dessert because it's so good okay. that i know that you're going to you're going to want to dig in so let's go over all the stuff that we made and then i'll scoop okay. out some dessert because I, right. I have to admit like that was the one thing i just, just to be just to be helpful i'll hold the macaroni there you cheese. go there you go just okay, to help so, out just, I'm so just helping out so this is the roaster uh roasting rack that comes with it and this i have not seen in stores and so you are getting this roasting rack that you can use on two different levels. So you can use it uh, in this direction or you can use it in this direction. Uh, so if you wanted to do some steamed vegetables, of course, you'd put some water at the bottom.
bottom and then put your uh, seasoned vegetables on the Does top. Does that come with it? This comes with oh, it. Oh, it comes with this it? This comes with oh, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting this too. Um, but then of course, if you want to do your roasted meats and you don't want to do a soup or stew, but you wanted to just roast the meat, you could flip it around this way and then it's easy to lift the meat out of the pot and then you're getting that, you know, that nice and golden brown crispy delicious all around the meat. Mm. And then all the fat is falling to the bottom. So you're not getting the fat on your meats. And so this is wonderful. Like I love using this at home. It's a great extra tool, you know, for cooking, for steaming, for sauteing, for doing your big pork roast as well. Um, so here's all the stuff that we've made so far. Okay. So we did some, we did eight and a half quarts of chili, uh, the spoon and the, you know, of course it's right on top of the lid. So if you have family mm -hmm. members with different schedules and they're coming home at different times, they could always come home and, and serve themselves, but it's also great for entertaining and great for a party. We uh, started up a stew. So let me show you how this is doing. This is mm. boiling already. Look at how this is cooking. So we're slow cooking our meats here. We're gonna turn the temperature down here, but we've got our whole big piece of steak there, all of our potatoes and our broth, all cooking. Uh, again, you know, you can use that slow cooker and have it slow roasted all day. So what you can- By, by the way, that's the sea salt gray and we have 223 left. Oh wow, so that's a popular It's color. very popular <laughs> and with the rest of the quantities in the black, but they're much limited on that. So this is what that stew will look like after, you know, after a couple hours of, of mm. slow cooking is look at how wonderful this looks. Look wow. at how the meat is, because the meat and was the meat able to get- seared. The meat yep. got seared, so it had that nice caramelization on there. And so I love that I can do that sear saute function, even with it as a slow cooker, because I'm able to seal in all those flavors and get those wonderful, delicious mm. flavors. This smells so good, you guys. I really wish you could smell it, but um, I love that I- the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> this is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> of course, we did the macaroni and cheese that you love. Um, I took this out of the <laughs> oven, so the pot is oven safe up to 500 degrees. The uh, uh, possible cooker itself is faster than your oven, so you're gonna wanna cook in the possible cooker because it has that triple fusion heat where it's heating from the side and it's heating from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that triple fusion heat is gonna make this cook 30% faster than your oven. You would only wanna put this in the oven if you wanna crisp something up on the top, like with your right. broiler for five minutes. Um, of course, you can use it in the oven. If you need an extra pot, you can use, it is oven safe up to 500 degrees, but your possible cooker is gonna cook things faster than your oven. You can cook a whole roast chicken in here 30% faster than your than your big oven. Mm. We also did some pulled pork sliders here. So we, again, uh, seared, seared and uh, sauteed the meat with the onions and then let it slow cook so it was pull apart just like this. So, you know, where the where it's just like what you'd have in your restaurant. And like you said earlier, I love that you're able to do, the, uh, you know, get cheaper cuts of meat and yep. make them tender by slow cooking them. So you can save some money that way too by, you know, looking for meats that are on sale or, or getting those cuts that are not I as think expensive. all the crew's getting hungry too. I'm getting I know, I know. They're, I, I see them all coming in. Everybody's getting hungry. We started I'm our, getting requests. Uh, <laughs> the director wants the beef stew, by the, the way. The beef stew, absolutely. <laughs> all right, so here is our uh, pasta sauce that we've been working on. So let me go ahead and add the bolognese. The bolognese, the bolognese. All right, I'm going to add some more of the ingredients here. So we also have the marinara sauce. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it I'm seems like an add. easy word to say for some reason. I yeah, panicked. so yeah, I'm going to add the marinara sauce. sauce. And, I'm, and just for time, I'm just going to add some pre-cooked pasta. But of course, you could cook pasta from, from raw in here as well. But look at this, eight and a half quart capacity for pasta and I can put it on the keep warm function and have everybody kind of serve themselves at, you know, at their leisure whenever they get home. There's so much pasta in here. Um, I'm gonna uh, scoop that up with the spoon. Of course, the spoon comes with it too, um, but look at how much capacity is in here. And just like you said earlier, I, you know, I'm not getting all this mess on my pink shirt today. <laughs> right, it's well, all staying I'm noticing that. Because usually like you saute something and you've got a big pot of something that's eight and a half quarts, it's like gonna go all over the oven. You're not making a mess anywhere when you're when you're creating these amazing dishes. This is a multi cooker, and by the way, we've got five flex pay on everything right now. It's 5 p.m. over here on the East Coast. That ends tonight at midnight. So a few more hours of that. It's East Coast time, 9 p.m. West Coast time. The five flex pay ends. So it's on sale. It's free shipping and $26 to get home. The Ninja Foodie Pro Multi Cooker. It's only the second time we've ever had it on air. That really really pretty sea salt color. It's kind of like a blue gray. That's the most limited below 200 available now. Oh my goodness, so, such a popular color. To, yeah, very popular. And then we have it in black as well. But, um, oh my gosh. And Doesn't this look amazing? You know, when I think about, the, you know, when the kids all come home from school at different times and, mm -hmm. they, you know, dinner is like at six, seven, and eight, depending on who gets out of soccer, lacrosse, or track, or, yeah. you know, uh, I think football season may be uh, over, really over. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, it, it really is, it really is great 
great for, you know, a family that has like a different eating time, which I know lots of families do. I promised you dessert. And what I love yes. about it too is, the, you know, <laughs> I like, have set down the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> but <laughs> what I love about slow cooking too is dinner's done. You know, in the morning, if you put all of your ingredients in there and the end of the day, you're like, oh my goodness, what's for dinner? Dinner is already made. So I love that I can, oh, this looks so good. I love that I can set it and forget it. Is and that then, like a cobbler? This is a cobbler that we mm. slow cooked in here. I, I mean, look at the berries in here. Can you see the berries in here? Look at how this just smells amazing. And then we just crisped up some oatmeal and some crumble on the top um, in the oven just for about five minutes just to have that nice crispy crust. But if you want to try that, it is piping hot, but Ooh. it is delicious. A scoop okay. of ice cream and this is mwah, chef's kiss. It's so, so good. Here's a spoon. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I might need to, I could just lean <laughs> and in it at is this hot. point because every, America's watched me so eat this. I know, I know we've done a lot of savory things, but you can do your desserts super hot. as well. You can do uh, cobblers, mm. peach cobblers, berry cobblers. Um, I, I love a cobbler. I mm, love it. Me and too. Again, this is I, this is really like a vegetable. <laughs> it, it's a fruit. It's not really like a dessert. It's, it's like, a yeah, fruit. It's like you a know, fruit it's vegetable. a fruit. It's, it's totally a fruit it totally counts as a, a, a fruit. Beautiful. So um, we've got le just about two minutes left in the show. Two minutes left in the show. So I would love to show that um, still again that all the fourteen different things that this you know you're if you want to get a steamer okay if you want to get you know I would actually add rice cooker to this because oh, I think yeah. this would be a really good rice cooker absolutely um, if because I do like a thing of rice at the beginning of the week and then I kind of portion it out with like some protein yeah. and vegetables for lunches all week. It would be great for that. It's nonstick. You could take it and use it as your roasting pan. Uh, you can use it as your Dutch oven, your stock pot. It's a bread maker. It is a slow cooker, but it is also a brazer. So when you get that, you know, maybe you want to do like a brisket. Right, would be perfect. But yeah, perfect yeah. for this. So you you want to sear it first before you slow cook it to make it like a, it's a less expensive cut of meat to make it tender. You can sear it in here 